In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet, Factoring Trinomials. You can find this within the Infinite Algebra section. This is also known as Factoring Quadratic Polynomials Easy. And it's easy because our a is 1. And when it says a is 1, it's talking about ax squared plus bx plus c. So here is a quadratic, and this a is 1. So it's simply x squared plus bx plus c. Now, in order to factor, we need to find what multiplies to give us c, but adds to give us b. And those will be our two numbers. So number 1, because this is a, which is 1, our b would be 8, and c is 7. So we need to find two separate numbers that multiply to give us 7, but add to give us 8. So writing down the factors of 7, we have 1 and 7, or 7 and 1. However, 7 and 1 is repetitive, so we just need 1 and 7, and 1 plus 7 does indeed equal 8. So our factors is b plus 7 times b plus 1. And if you were to FOIL this out, remember first, outside, inside, and then last, you would get b times b, which is b squared, plus b times 1, which is b, or 1b, plus 7 times b, which is 7b, plus 7 times 1, which is 7. 1b plus 7b is 8b, and we're adding that to b squared and 7. So you can see that indeed when we FOIL that out, we get b squared plus 8b plus 7. In number 2, our c is 10, and our b is a negative 11, since that 11 is subtracted. So we need to find two numbers that add to give us negative 11, but multiply to give us our c of 10. So writing down the factors of 10, we'll have 1 and 10, and then 2 and 5. So we're multiplying to get a positive number. However, when we add, we get a negative number. Therefore, these factors we can think of as negative, since a negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 1 plus negative 10 does indeed equal negative 11. So we're going to use negative 1 and negative 10. So when we write the factors, we'll say n, and it's a negative, so we're subtracting 1 times n, and it's a negative 10, so we're subtracting 10. n minus 1 times n minus 10. And if you want to, feel free to FOIL that out to double check that you get the original polynomial. On to number 3, our c is negative 90, since the 90 is subtracted, and our b is a positive 1. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to give us negative 90, but add to give us 1. So if we have the factors of negative 90, we're going to have one negative number and one positive number in order to get a negative. So we have 1 and 90, or 1 and negative 90. One plus negative 90, or negative 90, plus 1 does not equal 1. So let's continue on to the next factor. There's 2 and negative 45, or negative 2 and positive 45. They multiply to give us negative 90, but neither add to give us 1. Moving on to the next one, there's 3 and negative 30, or we could say negative 3 and positive 30. Those do not add to give us 1. So continuing on, we have 5 and 18, and regardless of which one is negative, they do not add to give us positive 1. There's 6 times 15, and 6 minus 15, or 15 minus 6, does not equal... So continuing on to the next, we have 9 and 10. 9 minus 10 equals negative 1, but negative 9 plus 10 equals a positive 1. So 9 and 10 are the numbers. So we have m minus 9, and we're going to multiply that to m plus 10. Since negative 9 times 10 is negative 90, and negative 9 plus 10 is a positive 1. And number 4, c is negative 12, and b is positive 4. In order to get negative 12, we can multiply negative 1 and 12, or 1 and negative 12, However, none of those add to 4. We could also do 2 
and 6. 2 minus 6 is a negative 4, but negative 2 plus 6 is a positive 4. So the factors of negative 12 that we'll use are negative 2 and 6. So we'll take n and subtract 2, and we'll multiply that by n plus 6. And number 5, our c value is 9, which is positive, and our b value is a negative 10. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to give us 9, but add to give us negative 10. So multiplying to get 9, we'll have 1 and 9. And if we make this negative 1 and negative 9, negative 1 plus negative 9 does indeed equal negative 10. Therefore, our numbers are negative 1 and negative 9. So we're going to take n and we're subtracting 1 since the 1 is negative, And we're going to multiply that by n and we're subtracting 9 since the 9 is negative. So our solution in number 5 is n minus 1 times n minus 9. And number 6, what multiplies to give us 64 and adds to give us our b value of 16. So the factors of 64 will have 1 and 64. We'll have 2 and 32. However, neither of those add to get 16. We'll also have 4 and 16. That still doesn't add to get 16, and then we'll get 8 and 8. 8 plus 8 does indeed equal 16. So we're going to have b plus 8 times b plus 8. But look, they're the same polynomial multiplied to itself. So we can write this as b plus 8 squared. And number 7, our c is a negative 24, and our b is a positive 2. So what two numbers multiply to give us negative 24 and add to give us a positive 2? So one of these numbers, or one of the factors, of 24 will need to be negative. So we have 1 and 24, and when either one of them is negative, if we have negative 1 plus 24 or 1 plus negative 24, we do not get 2. We also have 2 and 12, but if we have a negative 2, adding 12 to that, we don't get 2. And if we have a negative 12, adding 2 to that, we do not get positive 2. Then we'll go to 3 and 8, but that will not give us 2. And then we'll go to 4 and 6. And 4 and 6 indeed will give us 2 if the 4 is negative. Then we'll get a positive 2 and a negative 24 when multiplied together. So we'll have m minus 4 times m plus 6. And in this case, I wrote m minus 4 before the m plus 6. But remember, multiplication is commutative, so you could also write m plus 6 times m minus 4. Either is correct since the order in which those polynomials are multiplied does not matter. For number 8, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give us 24, since our c is equal to 24, and add to give us negative 4, since our b is negative 4. So we have 24, the factors of 24 were 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. However, we need to find which two will equal negative 4, and since 24 is positive and b is negative, we'll put these as negative numbers, since a positive plus a positive will never give you a negative. And when we add any of these together, negative 4 plus negative 6, negative 3 plus negative 8, negative 2 plus negative 12, or negative 1 plus negative 24, none of them will give you negative 4. Therefore, this is not factorable. And number 9, our c is a positive 40, and our b is a negative 13. So that means one of the factors is going to be negative. We have 1 and 40, which I know will not give us a negative 13. We'll have 2 and 20, which I also know will not give us a negative 13, regardless of which number is negative. Then we'll have 4 and 10, which will not give us negative 13. And then we'll have 5 and 8. And if both 5 and 8 are negative, a negative times negative is positive, and adding negative 5 to negative 8, we will indeed get negative 13. So we're going to have k minus 5 and k minus 8 
as the factored polynomial in number 9. And lastly in this video, I'll go over number 10. Our C in number 10 is 18, and our B is 11. So we have to see which two numbers multiply to give us 18, but add to give us 11. So the factors of 18, we have 1 and 18, that will not add to give us 11. We have 2 and 9, and 2 plus 9 does equal 11. So our A plus 2 times A plus 9 will equal our original polynomial a squared plus 11a plus 18. So our final solution in this video is a plus 2 times a plus 9. And if you want to double check, remember FOIL. We're going to do first, outside, inside, and then last. And when you simplify that, you will get the original polynomial and number 10. Now if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, Give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this if you think it will be helpful to someone else.